Arkham is an 8 HP dual voltage polarizer, also known as a bipolar VCA. It can be used to boost, attenuate, modulate, polarize, mix, offset and invert your audio and CV, and is a great wave shaper and distortion too. Its versatility and small size makes it a great asset to any system. Arcan is divided into two identical sections. On the top left of each section, we have an input with a gain knob. It reaches unity gain at the second line indicator. After that, the signal gets boosted and distorted symmetrically. The signal can be inverted by flipping the switch next to the gain knob. The bias section generates a voltage when there is nothing inserted in its input. This can be used to offset and distort the signal asymmetrically. When we insert a source in the bias input, the signal gets mixed with the signal from the input section. Let's add some more signals into channel B. The outputs are normal, which means that when the output of channel A is left unpatched, it is mixed at the output of channel B. This way, Arcan can be used to mix four signals together. When it is patched, the link is broken and we now have two individual mixes. When nothing is patched in the CV input, the modulation strength knob of each channel controls the submix level, with full attenuation at the clockwise position. To modulate the signals from the input and bias sections, we use a CV input. This input functions as a polarizer, which means that when the modulation source is negative, the signals will be inverted. The modulation strength knob determines the amount of modulation. When it's fully clockwise, it is fully modulating. And when it's fully counterclockwise, the unmodulated signal is passed. While we're modulating, we can adjust the modulation curve between exponential and linear. We can add offset, adjust the curve, modulation strength, and boost to get new modulations based on just one envelope and one LFO. Let's have a closer look at how the modulation section works and how it can be used to create a wave shaper. When the bias section is generating a voltage, we can insert the wave we want to shape into the CV input. The wave is transferred to the output and we now have a function that allows us to adjust the curvature of the wave. We can then send the output of channel A to the input of channel B and add symmetrical or asymmetrical distortion. Or we can mix in more signals. 